What's good, everybody? It's your boy, Mitch TV. I was just coming to you about a thought I had today um, off of a conversation I had with a friend about how will Michael Jordan adjust to today's NBA and what type of adjustments on his current, on his 98 Bulls team or 97 or 96 Bulls team that needed to be made to fit the style of today's NBA. So we had, I had a conversation with a friend about this particular subject and here's my thoughts, uh, what I said. I think Michael Jordan in today's NBA, he will be able to fit in today's NBA. Even though he is a men rage scoring machine, just like DeMar DeRozan, just like LeBron, just like Kobe, just like Carmelo Anthony. People that can score in the mid-range in their sleep. I think he will adjust. I think he will shoot more threes. But to me, I, I could say Michael Jordan percentage in the two-point range, in the mid-range, will be higher. Where, And in the three-point range, it will still be like at 29 30%, the which is below the league average. Remember, Michael Jordan never values the three point ball really throughout his career. You could just tell by the stats. Also, with Michael on how today's NBA defenses are, where back then they allowed Michael to ISO the ball in, in the 90s. And they had the quote unquote hand checking rule where you take your hand, and you can guide the player. And you know, they cut off hand checking in 2004, which a lot of people don't know that. That means LeBron actually played one year in the hand checking rule era before they changed it in 2004. So, um, so how Michael would adjust is. He will notice that defenses is constantly switching, and then they're gonna they, they double, and they do more doubling. And also, defenders are more athletic in today's NBA. Michael would adjust. Yeah, he would adjust. He would, you know, and I think Michael will be more like where he is now. But but I think Michael will be will be maybe. You know, he would not, to me, he will still average 30. Some people will say, oh, he'll average 50, he'll average 40. But you got to understand, defenders in today's NBA are more athletic. Kawhi Litter, prime example, 6'8", can guard the 1, 2, and the 3, and 4s. That's, that is a scoring machine, and he's a defender. Remember, Kawhi won... Defensive Player of the Year, Finals MVP. He also is a multiple-time All-Star, all of that. So, you know, now imagine Jordan matching up with Kawhi. That would be a nightmare for Mike because Kawhi is going to be on him all the time. And Kawhi is low-key retarded, so he don't, he, he don't know better. So all he know is hoop. So, you know, but... Overall, you know, Mike will still average 30. I don't think he wouldn't average 40. I'll, I'll say, I'll do this. Mike in today's NBA will average 36 points a game. That's my guess. He will average 36 points a game on 50% shooting, 30% three-point shooting. And he'll be a... And I think he'll, and then also he'll shoot about 90% from the free throw line because by him, you know, drawing fouls, drawing attention to the defense, he will shoot a better percentage from the free throw line. So he'll average 36 easily. I won't think he'll average 40 because a lot of people, you know, don't understand that defenders are more athletic in today's NBA. But also, how you will build a team around Michael. 
Let's take the 98 Bulls, right? And put them in today's NBA. Now you gotta understand, there were only two, three, two good three-point shooters on the Bulls in 98. Tony Kukoc and Steve Kerr. And if you take the 98 Bulls, Dennis Rodman will play center. Luke Longley will come off the bench. Ron Harper will be a six man. And so how the shooting will be is like this. The starting lineup will be highly, like, it'll be changed. Like, cause the old, the 98 Bulls lineup was pretty much Ron Harper, Michael Jordan, Scottie Pippen, Dennis Rodman, Luke Longley. That was in 98. Today's lineup, if the 98 Bulls played in today's NBA, it will it will be it'll change. It will be something like Randy Brown or Steve Kerr, Michael Jordan, Scottie Pippen, Tony Kukoc, and Dennis Rodman. And the reason why, like let's just say you take Ron Harper out. Ron Harper will be more beneficial coming off the bench in today's NBA. Cause, cause Ron Harper can play defense, but at that time, Ron Harper wasn't that much of a scorer because he had a lot of injuries through the 90s. Do your research on Ron Harper in the mid 80s all the way through the 90s. He was that boy. He was that guy. He was Zach Levine without the flashy dunks. He was cold like that. So, Ron, so, in today's NBA, the starting liners will be like Steve Kerr at the one, Mike at the two, Scotty at the three, Rodman, uh, Tony Kukoc at the four, Rodman at the five. And the reason why it'll be like that, because Steve Kerr can shoot the ball, Mike is a two-way player, Scotty is a two-way player, Tony Kukoc is a, is a stretch four, and Dennis Rodman is a small ball five. And you know, well, you know what that team is constructed like? Go to state. Go to that. If you look at it, it'll be similar to go to state with Kevin Durant, where you got Steph, Clay, Draymond, KD, and Kevon Looney. Kevon Looney is like it's like Dennis Rodman without the cross dressing. And you know, and the sex escapades he had with Madonna and all of that, and the red, red hair. Tony Kukos would be like Kevin Durant. Dre, you know, Draymond. Ooh, Dray. Well, Draymond would be like Scotty and and you know, Clay, ain't Mike, or none of that. But you, but you see what I'm saying? It'll be similar, like how Golden State run their offense. If you notice. Steve Kerr, how he runs the Golden State Warriors offense, is, is elements of the triangle and also elements of Greg Popovich's system where they space the ball out, they pass the ball, they move the ball around, they make certain cuts. So that's why Steve Kerr is so successful. He took two systems, he took Greg Popovich's system, and he took uh, Phil Jackson's system and merged it into Steve Kerr's system. And he took a little bit of D'Antoni's system, the seven seconds or less. So he took three systems and made it into his own. So he took seven seconds or less, triangle, and pace and space, and merged them all together in their Steve Kerr system. That's how the Bulls would have to run. The Bulls would still run the triangle in today's NBA, even though the triangle is an outdated offense, but it would be a little different where how the triangle would have the ball handler, the wing, do you, it will be ball handler, wing, big. That's how it was ran. Where Scotty will, will bring the ball up, Mike on the wing, Dennis Ryman or or Luke Longley in uh, in the in the dunker spot in the in the, on and, and on down by the basket. That's how they call it the triangle, because it forms triangle. But in today's NBA. How I said how the lineup would be in today: Steve Kerr, Michael Jordan, Scottie Pippen, Tony Kukoc, and Dennis Rodman. That lineup would be deadly because Tony Kukoc will benefit the most out of that. Him and Steve Kerr, 
Uh, Tony Kukoc is 6'10". He can shoot the ball, handle the ball. People, a lot of people don't know who Tony Kukoc is in today's generation. Tony Kukoc was Luka Doncic before Luka Doncic in the in the nineties, before he came over to the NBA. And then back in the nineties, the best European players in the nineties was a young Dirk Nowitzki, Tony Kukoc, and a Julius uh, Sabonis. That was the the top three European players back in the day that was in Europe making noise. Now fast forward back to the Bulls. So the Bulls, so imagine that. You run that lineup, Tony Kukoc, he would not be averaging 15 points a game. He'll be averaging more like 18 to 20 points a game because his shooting, his shooting, and also by him being 16, and he can, you know, and in his playmaking. So Tony Kukoc's playmaking and shooting, he will benefit from that. Dennis Rodman will still be averaging eight points and 15 rebounds. That's, that's, you know, because he'll be a small ball five. Scotty would not be averaging just 20 points. I think Scotty will be averaging between 24 to 27 points a game. Because Scotty will, will just, Scotty, he can play defense. Also, he's also a good mid range shooter. Also, he shot the ball, the three ball, a little bit better than Michael. But, but Scotty will average about 24 to 27 points a game. Michael will average about 36 a game. Steve Kerr will be averaging, he wouldn't be not averaging five points a game in this generation of NBA. He'll be averaging more like 10 to 12 points a game because he'll be a great spot up three point shooter. So that's how the lineup will be. Steve Kerr run the offense, all of that. And, and then, and, but Scotty, Steve Kerr would not, let me take that back. Steve Kerr would not run the office. Scotty will be running the office. Steve Kerr will be a, a spot up shooter. That's a point guard. So, so that's how the Bulls will, will, that's how the adjustments will be made if the Bulls played in 2024. And then you have Ron Harper coming off the bench, Randy Brown, Scott Morrell. You had Judd Bushler. Lou Longley coming off the bench, you know, that would be, the Bulls would still be a good team, it just, you would have to shuffle the lineup, reorganize the, the whole depth chart of, of who's coming off the bench and who's starting, so yeah, that is my thoughts on that, on how the 98 Bulls will fit in today's NBA, so yeah. So tell me how, what you think. Like, comment, share, and, and subscribe. Um, it's your boy Mitch.